A controversial review is threatening the survival of 27 national monuments. As we reported earlier, President Trump ordered that review, which includes canyons of the ancients near Cortez. The review could have a major impact. As we cover Colorado for you tonight, CBS4 Stan Bush filed this report from the monument where Native American history and the area's tourist economy now hang in the balance. For Native Americans throughout the West, this land will always be home. And the rock castles, abandoned here in time, are where many tribes believe they began. They can trace their heritage directly back to this? They do, both through or oral history, uh, through rock art imagery. They do trace their lineage and in some cases to very specific sites. You might at times have feasts there for a certain particular event. Marietta Eaton is the managing director for Canyons of the Ancients National Monument, a gigantic conservation area in southwestern Colorado, considered one of the richest archaeological sites in the world. It's where remnants of the Pueblo's ancestral natives lived and worshipped in still stand in remarkable shape. When you go to a place and see the standing walls, you're not seeing the entire village in that landscape. But after surviving the pressure of time, the monument faces its newest threat after the Trump administration ordered a review of it and 26 other national monuments. This one that hits home really bothers me. Deborah Gangloff is CEO of an archaeological nonprofit. She says revoking Canyon's monument status would be devastating and irreversible. It would put at risk those lands, those ecologically sensitive lands and the archaeological sensitive lands. It would put them at risk of people that just want to run rip shot over them, and I mean literally. What makes these relics so endangered is that Canyons of the Ancients receives little protection beyond the laws for federal land use, leaving much of their preservation, from the stone walls on the verge of collapse to fragile cave drawings like this child's hand, all up to the public's goodwill. The sprawling monument is more than just a home to ancient ruins. In fact, 80% of it is leased for mineral extraction, which already includes oil and gas development. No new drilling is being considered. Current leases were formed before the area became a monument and didn't affect the archaeological relics. But opponents of the review say revoking the area's monument status would begin a slippery slope, where the BLM may become more inclined to sell or trade parcels of land. Once they're destroyed or vandalized or taken or whatever, they're gone forever. And you're destroying our history, our American history that goes way back earlier than 1776. The Interior Department says the review may hinge on public comment to determine if the land many consider sacred will receive hallowed protection. In Cortez, Stan Bush, CBS 4 News. Now this review is nearing its midpoint. Colorado delegates believe that Canyon's monument protections will ultimately stay intact, but this has grown into a complicated political issue. Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, why some believe that Canyons of the Agents was targeted in the first place.